So there you have it, 2020 is done. And if you break your life down into years, then when you look back at 2020, you're gonna have to say, it was a pretty bad one for the world. I mean, Australia was on fire at the start of the year. The whole world was hit by a global pandemic. Carol Baskin took control of Joe Exotic Zoo. The list goes on. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, oh no, John, you're not gonna tell us about your canceled wedding again. No, I'm not. I've already acknowledged 2020 was a crap year full of, yes, canceled weddings and bereavements in the family and, and lost jobs, but I don't want to talk about those today. I've talked about those already enough until I'm blue in the face. Today, I wanna to talk about some of the positive things about 2020. Now, it might be hard to believe that 2020 actually had any positives, but this year for me, it definitely did. You know, not only did I learn lots of different lessons about how to, to approach life this year and I've gone through those all in my channel and not only did I get to spend a lot more time with my fiance which was brilliant and get to live in this house and also live with an awesome cat, never really lived with a cat before, um, but actually uh, there was quite a lot of positive things for my channel as well. Now let's get the obvious out of the way. There are way more baby Johns on this channel than there were this time last year, about 10,000 to be precise. So yeah, the amount of BJs I have got this year has been out of this world. So although all of you already know the story, yeah, I've got to once again thank Jackmate for the shout out earlier this year. That was a huge boost for this channel going forward. But probably the biggest change to my channel, bigger than the shout out from Jackmate, has to be the change in my style of content. Last year, I was this sort of parody of a YouTuber. Everything was heavily scripted and I was sort of doing this, this meta comedy which made it really hard to engage a new audience. Whereas I feel like this year, I allowed myself to be, well, me, a bit more myself. And actually, over time, that sort of changed my content and I changed what I was doing. And eventually I started doing the 30 day challenges and I was letting you into my life a bit more, which then led to these vlogs. And I would say that I am enjoying making videos way more now than I have done at any point over the last four years on YouTube. So I think that a big deal of my success this year has probably come from actually making the videos I want to watch and, and, and finding out that people wanna watch that too. Now probably the biggest turning point in terms of content for this channel came earlier this year when I released a video called A Video About Cans that isn't about cans. And the reason that that was so significant at that point in time is because everything up until that video had a comedy focus. That was the first video which I made which wasn't explicitly a comedy video. And I was incredibly nervous about putting that video out because it was such a tonal shift from everything I had done previous to that. And I was blown away by the response. You know, it was so well received that actually that video gave me the confidence to sort of add a bit more reality into my videos because people don't need things to be funny all the time. People understand that people have got more layers to them than just the one and that video was really the one that marked the turning point for this channel, I think. Oh, now I still don't think I've got the balance quite right. If you're a long-term viewer of this channel, you'll know that comedy has featured heavily in my past. So I want to include more comedy in my videos. I'm just trying to get the balance right. In fact, if you watch the last video, you'll have seen the re-emergence of an old sketch style that I used to do. Sketch style, that sounded weird, didn't it? On weird sketch style. My God. 2020 has also been the year of the collab as far as my channel is concerned. I've uh, been very fortunate to work with some fantastic creators, um, including Danny Rauner. If you haven't watched the collabs I did with him, I've done about three or four now uh, over on his channel and on mine. So go and check those out. I thoroughly recommend them. They're comedy sketches. Uh, they were a lot of fun to film and there'll be another one of those coming out soon with, with a load of other guys who are really quite talented. So keep an eye out for that. Bullshit. I also got to work with Very Blurry, um, a small YouTuber from Argentina who I've been talking to for a number of years and we did a film about what it was like to dealing with 2020 and um, yeah, it was one of the videos I was I was particularly happy with this year, so, so that was brilliant. Now I've done collabs before this year, but the thing that's different this year is I've done a lot more in real life collabs. Before this year, I'd only ever done one in real life collab, and that was at the tail end of last year when I went welly wanging with Robbie Knox. And Robbie's actually a great example. This year, I filmed, I think, two or three videos with him, including one on his channel where we went for a walk. So, so that was really fun. No, I think I suit the farmer look. Yeah, yeah, good. Yeah, it's good, stick with it. 
Also met Jackmate this year, which was a bit surreal because I've been watching him for a few years. He'd given me this shout out. All of a sudden, we're chummy, which is weird. Although, having said that, on the day, I was a, a complete nervous wreck. It's actually quite hard to watch the footage back from that day because in between takes, like my chat is fairly poor. I'm really nervous about filming in front of other people um, and, and I don't really know how I should be conducting myself. So I'm just like rifling through everything. The only thing I can compare it to is the first time I ever did stand up. I had my set prepared and I just rushed through everything. And although some of the jokes landed, it was all a bit rushed and chaotic. And that was how this collab felt. I was just rushing through everything. I had a few things I wanted to say. I had a few things I wanted to do. At one point I was listing Paw Patrol characters, uh, which I know because Charlie's got a little sister. Is that Sky? Is that, that is Sky. That is Sky, yeah. So um, I'm not going to tell you why I know that. <laughs> yeah. That's weird. I tell Jack that I'm doing 100 days of fitness and, you know, he seemed impressed with that. I'm doing 100 days working out for at least 30 minutes a day. Wow. Yeah, no, you'll be good. That'd be well good, I think. Yeah. Yeah. And, and for some reason, my t-shirt just kept forgetting how to t-shirt. It was riding up in almost every single shot in the video. I, I was just a mess that day. And also it was really hot, so I'm just incredibly sweaty in almost every shot. But it was good experience, and it was experience that then led me to go and meet Max Fosh. <laughs> <laughs> caught it! I bloody caught it! And I was way more comfortable on this day. I felt way more in my element, way more in control, um, a bit better prepared for everything. And uh, filming with Max was great. He was such a lovely guy. And, and we got drenched and caught in the rain. And even so, he was just delightful. In fact, it was weird actually, because he's the only millennial I know who's ever been upset that something was paper and not plastic. Are they, are they really soggy now? Is the plastic on the outside? No! It's paper! And he also slipped and twerked in the video, so that was something. Oh! What has happened there? And then I got to meet Cookie or Cookie Six or however you best know him. And this one was really exciting for me. I think I said this a few videos ago, but me and Cookie have been working together for a few years, talking for a few years and bouncing ideas off each other. So to meet him finally was really nice. And we also went welly wanging, which led to the moment where he threw a welly that went straight up and then backwards, which um, was probably the highlight of welly wanging. Oh my God. Oh Go my God. That is, that is a first. Oh, wow. <laughs> so yeah, a good year for collabs. So yeah, I think I just wanted to take the time to reflect on how the year had gone and reflect on some of the positive things, things I can take moving forward into 2021 and, and work upon and build upon. Uh, so thank you everyone so much for your support. To all the Baby Johns out there, the BJs this year have been out of this world. Oh, yeah. Nearly made it through that one with a straight face. But seriously, the comments, the messages, people reaching out to me on social media, thank you everyone. And to everyone that I've worked with this year, um, and for giving me the opportunity to work with you, um, it's been uh, phenomenal. So thank you so much. Um, I am now winding down for the year. You may have noticed the upload schedule this week and last week has been reduced. And to be honest with you, this might be the last video of 2020, but I am going to be coming back next year and 2021, I am going to be hitting it hard. So thank you so much for your support and I will see you in the new year. Don't forget to like this video if you like it, dislike it if you don't, subscribe if you haven't already and with all the love I can muster, thank you for everything and piss off. The boy John, the boy John, the boy John. Not gonna lie, that was way harder to burn than I thought. Way harder. <laughs>